Continuing coverage tonight of the cyber attack that shut down one of the country's largest sources of fuel. Governor Kim suspended the state fuel tax until Saturday night and declared a state of emergency as a result. Sarah Hammond explains what that means if you're headed to the pump. Let's start from the beginning. Five days ago, the Colonial Pipeline went offline after a cyber attack. That pipeline runs from Texas to New Jersey and carries more than 100 million barrels of fuel every day. So to try to lessen the impact on drivers in Georgia, Kim suspended state fuel taxes through Saturday night. According to the Georgia Department of Labor, the current tax on gas is about 28 cents, and for diesel, it's about 31 cents. He's also temporarily eliminating the weight limit for trucks transporting fuel, which which will provide more supply for stations as they receive deliveries. The order also prohibits price gouging, meaning gas stations can't raise their prices to an unfair level. While not all price increases qualify as gouging, we do want to make clear that anyone taking advantage of this disruption and making a quick buck off the backs of Georgians will not be tolerated. Driving around Warner Robins, the highest price I saw for regular gas was $3.07. Everywhere else stayed around $2.80. But Raymond Dittmar fueled up in Macon, and he says it's more expensive. Warner Robins is actually a little cheaper than this, but not by much. Daryl Snyder says he hasn't seen prices like this in a long time. Uh, it's it's really different. Like I, I feel like I'm back home down in the Savannah area. I've never seen gas in Macon since I've been here be this high. Both men say they hope these prices aren't here to stay. Once my gas starts getting low again, I'm parking it. I, the gas prices are too expensive for me to be driving around. And according to AAA, the average here in Georgia of regular gas is $2.87. The national average is about 10 cents more than that. In Warner Robins, Sarah Hammett, 13 WMAZ News. During his news conference this morning, the governor says the state expects this will be a short-lived problem. He says there's no need to fill up every tank you have or to hoard gasoline.